Hey Rams, welcome to Newsweek. I'm Delise DeVos. And I'm Calvin Johnson. This week, a Say Thanks event was held in front of the library, where students got the chance to write out their gratitude to a Texas Wesleyan faculty member. Here's reporter Karen Munns with the details. People naturally want to help other people, they just don't know how, right? So we all have this passion for other people that we care about. And we're all being a part of this family, right? Where we are building these relationships and getting excited about friendships. And I think that this is one of those places where, oh, I didn't really think to thank somebody. <laughs> But now that it's in front of me, that makes so much sense. And I think that allowing students and, and any pastor buyer really to give that opportunity to, to utilize that passion and that service heart, um, even in a small way, is totally helpful. So. It's important to thank our teachers because they do so much for us. And they take time out their day and come teach us. And that's what they love to do. And we love them. Uh, because teachers are real help here at college because, I mean, especially me, the way I learn, I could get things done on my own, but it helps to have someone who knows what they're doing to actually enforce what the lessons materials are. Our Dean of Students got to see how his students and faculty really feel last week as West Village presented the Roast of Dennis Hall. Here with his coverage is reporter Akeel Johnson. Our beloved Dean of Students, Dennis Hall, received the short end of the stick on September 19th with his very own roast. With seven friends, from student life to student leaders, Dennis took some hits. Uh, I mean, look at him, it's kind of easy to make fun of him. All jokes aside, Dennis is such a, uh, such a great guy. I'm glad we're here to celebrate what little accomplishments you've made on campus. Um, <laughs> The roast had everyone laughing in their seats, including the man of the hour. The contenders even started going after each other as well. Um, <laughs> I don't know if y'all knew this, but today is a very big day for Chelsea and I because it is our comedic debut. Um, and it, I'm not saying like it's a competition or anything, but good luck. <laughs> With all the great feedback, Student Life hopes to have another roast later in the year if possible. Earlier this week, the Student Government Association hosted an ice cream social event to get more involved with students. Here's Akil again with the scoop. On September 20th, the Student Government Association held an ice cream social to further connect with the students. With more on-campus students than ever before, SGA wants to ensure that students know what's going on, who their officers are, and what they are doing. According to many SGA members, the event had a good turnout. Yeah, it was pretty good. Everything worked out really well. Uh, a lot of students came and got to meet different members of the uh, SGA committee this year. And I'm really excited to see where the rest of this year is going to go. With Wesleyan working towards improvements, SGA doesn't fall short of that mark. Many students enjoyed the event and students that are returning like the direction SGA is heading this year. Students like Emily Rodriguez are hoping to see more events from SGA in the near future. The ice cream social was really fun. <laughs> A lot of positive energy out here and the ice cream was delicious. On this week's segment of Being a Ram, Karen Munns explored the life of our own Zach Lanham. My name is Zach Lanham. I'm a criminal justice major. What it means to be a Ram personally is getting involved. I'm a sophomore, um, and when I chose a college, I wanted a, I wanted a college where I could get involved. I could be someone on campus who people knew. I wanted to be a friendly face, and I didn't want to be just another, just another guy in the crowd, if that makes sense. Um, I was an orientation leader this summer. I was a RAM camp leader. Uh, I don't want to brag or anything, um, but you know I was a RAM camp leader of Teal Team, Teal Team Six, and uh, we might have took first place by over 80 points. But I mean that's just uh, it, it, it's in the past. In the past, doesn't matter now. Um, I'm an RA on Stella, first floor. Uh, you can find me in room 108 if you need anything. Um, I like to be busy. 
I like to be involved, and I like to know that when I think of Texas Wesleyan, I can not only think of myself, but I can think of all the things that there are to do on campus. Last year, I lifeguard, I worked the desk. This year, I don't have as much time, mostly because of sports and other requirements I have to do. But, I mean, overall, just if you can get involved in campus, like statistics prove your grades are better, you do better in school, you make more friends, you get more of an experience out of college. And that's what I wanted. These four years, the four years that you're in college, are for you and you alone. You may have to take care of people, you may have to work, play sports, whatever, but these four years are for you and you alone. And you have to take advantage of that. Because this is where you find out who you really are. Who your friends are, who you're going to date for the rest of your life, just who it, who it means to be Zach. Who is that? And that's where I'm slowly finding out in these next 40 years. I've got two more to go, and so far I know very little about myself. But I know I like to be active. I'm very outgoing. I might have stretched myself out a bit too much this semester. I'm currently taking 14 hours. Um, I play football, cheerleader. I'm an RA. I was a ramp camp leader. I was an orientation leader. And I just wanted to get involved. I enjoy long walks on the beach. I've actually only been to the beach once, so maybe that's not true. I enjoy playing my Xbox, hanging out with friends. I love going to games. I love going to basketball games, volleyball games. I love being like one of the loudest guys in the crowd. I have to give a quick shout out to Ram Squad. You know, Ram Squad was a, an important part of my life last semester. Just going to basketball games, and no one understands what it truly means that a crowd can sway a game. When you walk into that crowd, the atmosphere, it's lit, it's loud, everyone's screaming and yelling. The other team's scared, and they know it. A crowd will sway a game like no other. Um, unfortunately, I can't, be the, I can't be as a part of Ram Squad as I wanted to be, but you know, hopefully I'll still be able to be a member and go to the games and just give whatever time I can. I enjoy Waterburger. I love hanging out with some friends. Um, I have like a close group of friends who like after every night we just come together, we'll go get water burger, we'll jack in the box, just something. We'll hang out, we'll talk, and you know, we'll just decompress. Being in college is really stressful. And you're always going and going and going and you never truly have time to just stop, slow down and just think. You are either at practice or in class, you're studying, doing homework, you're skipping lunch to do homework. You're skipping sleep to get down to get this paper done, which should have been done two weeks ago, but you had six other papers to do. Because teachers think that you're only taking one class, and that's their class. But this is what we signed up for. This is to better my life and, I don't know, go do something. I have changed my major five times as a sophomore. I changed every summer, including the summer I first came in. I wanted to be a doctor when I first got here, and I <laughs> really realized that's not for me. So, as a criminal justice major, maybe I can go be a lawyer, or probably a cop, or a park ranger or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out later. That with the long hair, beard, six feet tall, 225, I look like a bear, and I might hibernate for hours every night. Um, I enjoy naps. Naps are a big part of my day. Uh, all dayers are really difficult. I love when my room is cold. I love cold weather. I love fall. I love Christmas and the 4th of July are two of my favorite holidays. I love America. I... Uh, one second. Oh, this flag I just happened to have out. Yeah. <laughs> Back to what I was saying. I love America. I love Waterburger. I love Texas. I love Texas. It is the greatest state of all time. I love cold weather. I love the 4th of July. I love Waterburger. God. <laughs> what I truly think it means to be a Ram would be get involved, have spirit, have pride, and show up every day and just work your butt off. Whether it's in the classroom, it's out on the practice field, it's in the music hall, whether you're a theater major, whether you're a bioengineer, whatever you do, work your butt off. These next four years are for you to show what it truly means to be a Ram. You're at Texas Wesleyan. Be proud you're here.
<laughs> well, thank you, Zach. That's all for this time, Rams. Tune in next week to Sports Access for coverage of volleyball, table tennis, and more. Make sure to sign up for text alerts and follow the Rambler TWU on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Have a good week. And Rams, Rams up. up.